Hi everyone, I am Shagun Agarwal and in today's video we are going to explore the book Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This best-selling book captured the hearts of millions of people while explaining them the concepts of financial literacy, assets, liabilities, wealth generation and so on. But before we delve deeper into the key takeaways from this book, let's understand the foundation of this book, what rich dad means and what poor dad means in terms of the book. Robert Kiyosaki is an investor, entrepreneur and educator. He had a life-changing encounter with two father figures. His real father, referred to as poor dad, was a highly educated man working tirelessly as an employee. In contrast, his best friend's father, the rich dad, was an astute businessman with no formal education. These two contrasting financial mentors laid the foundation for Kiyosaki's journey of self-discovery and financial enlightenment. Published in 1997, Rich Dad Poor Dad has since become a global sensation with over 40 million copies sold worldwide. So without further ado, let's get into the key takeaways explained in this book, Rich Dad Poor Dad. So the first takeaway is mindset matters. Young Robert, puzzled by the contrasting opinions of his rich dad and poor dad, gets into the world of understanding what is the ideological difference between the thinking of two dads. Poor dad, Robert's biological father, was an educated man with a stable job. But he subscribed to the belief of the traditional path of education, working hard for a secure job and living within one's means. While he had a steady income, he struggled with accumulating wealth and achieving financial independence. On the other hand, Rich Dad was a wealthy and successful father of Robert's best friend. He was an entrepreneur who believed in the power of financial education. From an early age, Rich Dad taught Robert crucial money lessons, emphasizing the importance of thinking outside the box, acquiring assets and making money work for him. He exemplifies a more unconventional approach emphasizing financial education, entrepreneurship, risk-taking and the creation of assets to achieve financial independence. Rich Dad's core teachings were centered around financial independence, wealth building through investing and developing an entrepreneurial mindset. Here the author Robert Kiyosaki says that we must take calculated risk, whether in our jobs or whether building a business or whether in any other pursuits. If we don't take calculated risk, we will not get calculated results. The second suggestion that he makes over here is that whenever we are working on anything, failures would be a part and parcel of it. But when we embrace failures and when we learn from those failures, that is when our growth happens. That is when our learning happens. And this is what we all need to understand that embracing failure is a key to success in life. The second is assets versus liabilities and understanding the difference in the definition of the two. Imagine two brothers, Tom and Alex, both on decent income, but their approach of money is vastly different. Tom spends his money on lavish vacations and material possessions, thinking they are assets. On the other hand, Alex invests in income-generating properties and business, considering them as true assets. As they progress in life, Tom becomes trapped in the rat race of expenses, while Alex enjoys financial freedom through his accumulating assets. To build a strong financial foundation, we need to understand what truly is an asset and what truly is a liability. Kiyosaki explains the concept of rat race and suggests everyone that we should come out of it so we can enjoy more freedom and leisure in life. He says that a rat race is something when we are living paycheck to paycheck, when we're getting the income, spending all the bills, then again working. So we are working for more money and we are trading our time for it. And that is what is called as a rat race. The third technique is understanding the power of passive income. Picture this, Mark and Sarah, two hardworking individuals, both have stable jobs. Mark relies solely on his salary while Sarah actively seeks out ways to create passive income streams. As time passes, Sarah enjoys more time for herself and her loved ones thanks to her diversified income and business generating passive income. Meanwhile, Mark is still trading time for money. The key takeaway is to understand the importance of passive income, which allows your money to work for you, providing financial security and freedom. Passive income is a seed that grows money tree. In other words, passive income is an income that you earn even when you're not working, even when you're sleeping. If something is giving you income, that's passive income. While Mark is solely dependent on his salary, Sarah understands the value of creating passive income streams that generate money even when she is not actively working. This could be through rental income, dividends from investments, royalties from books or music or owning a profitable online business. By generating passive income, Sarah is not only increasing her wealth but also gaining the precious gift of time. Embracing passive income allows us to break free from the shackles of 9 to 5 job and pursue a life of purpose and fulfillment. Here, Robert suggests three things. 
One is investing in your own business, investing in real estate, and the third is multi-level network marketing. The fourth technique is the importance of financial freedom. Let's meet John and Emma, two college graduates starting their careers. John believes that his college degree is sufficient to secure a stable job in financial security. Emma, on the other hand, recognizes the need for ongoing financial education and takes the initiative to attend seminars, read books, and, and seek financial advice from mentors. As they journey through their careers, John faces financial struggles while Emma makes informed decisions, leading her towards financial independence. The lesson here is the significance of continuous learning and financial education. While education is necessary for all of us, Robert Kiyosaki says that the traditional ways of education that our kids learn in college and school days is not enough for financial literacy. The book argues that traditional education often fails to teach essential financial concepts, leaving many individuals ill-prepared to manage their finances effectively. I highly encourage you to read this book if you want to embark on your journey of financial enlightenment and to gain valuable concepts and techniques around financial education. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please do hit like, share, subscribe and comment so I can prepare more of such videos from best-selling books that I read. Thank you so much for watching.